I mean, the weekend really felt like summer was already here. It really did. It was nice and hot. And then now things are going to cool down a little bit more, which is going to give us some relief as we start off the week. Here's a quick look at our Blue Ridge camera. You'll notice that we do have clouds west of the mountains. So the low clouds and fog have once again returned. It was really nice over the weekend. A lot of our inland communities didn't really see any of the low clouds and fog because we had that shrinking marine layer. But the marine layer is back this morning. 61 degrees currently for San Bernardino. I'm going to take you over to the Inland Empire where temperature are going to gradually start to warm up in the next few hours by about 10 a.m. We're looking at temperatures topping out into the upper 60s and then the clouds will slowly start to clear away. In fact, today will be the coolest day of the week. We're looking at the stronger onshore flow, meaning the breezes, the sea breeze start to return. So that's going to help cool things down a little bit more. However, because we're also looking at some really strong north to northwest winds, it's going to push a lot of that smoke and haze that we saw over the weekend into some parts of Southern California that didn't even see any of that smoke and haze. So get ready for that. This is something that we're going to watch as we head into the rest of the day. And then at the end of the week, as we are headed to the first day of summer, which is Thursday, we're going to slowly start to see those temperatures warm right back up. So right now, because we do have the low clouds and fog overhead, we're looking at some good to moderate air quality at the moment. And then as we head into much of the morning and afternoon. You can see this is where the wildfire smoke is being pushed into a lot of the I-5 corridor regions and then also pushing into the Santa Cruz Valley. I'm going to take you over and show you that uh, those northwest winds will start to push a lot of that smoke into areas like some of our foothill communities. So that's something that we're watching and even the San Gabriel Mountains will really start to feel more of that smoke and haze as well. We're cooling down because there is that low pressure system just kind of brushing past us into the north. And then as we head into the rest of the week, that high pressure system that we've been dealing with that started kind of pushing away a little bit will start to move back into our area. So by the end of the week, we're looking at much warmer conditions. Here's a quick look at our hour by hour wind of four Forecast. We're looking at those gusts picking up for the Antelope Valley for the Lancaster area. Once we head toward the afternoon, we could even see those gusts in some spots up to about 40 miles per hour, but it could get up to about 50 in some other areas. LA and Orange County are going to pretty much stay in the upper 70s through the end of the week. There's that first day of summer forecast, 78. And then by the time we head into the weekend, topping out in the low 80s. Valleys, mid 80s today, mid 90s tomorrow going down just a touch for Juneteenth in the upper 80s. And then first day of summer looks like the 90s are resurfacing again and it just gets hotter for the weekend. For the Inland Empire, low 80s today, upper 80s as we head into Tuesday and into the middle of the week. And then you can see as we head toward the end of the week into the weekend, 90s also return. Here's a look at the high desert. Smoky today, 87 degrees, 75 for the mountains, 72 for the coast. Kalina, good morning. Hi, 